So don't go and write physiology inside biochemistry. If you ask on the biochemistry of sickle cell anemia or biochemistry of thalassemia, like sickle cell anemia, you must include the, the exact amino acid that was replaced in that in amino acid sequence. You must include it right on the biochemistry. Don't write physiology inside biochemistry. Put an arrow to show that you added water. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jemima. Today we are going to talk about how to answer medical biochemistry questions in exam. If you've not seen my previous videos on this series, please go and see it. I'll leave the link up here. I've talked about how to answer anatomy questions, gross anatomy, histology, embryology questions, and neuroanatomy questions in exam. I've also talked about how to answer physiology questions in exam. Please, I'll leave the link up. Go and see those videos if, not, if you've not seen it. I'm doing this series for those students that want to have distinctions, that want to score 60s, and 70 percent in their exams is not for those who want to have 40 percent or 50 percent please this channel is not for you if that is what you want this is this channel is for those who want to excel tremendously in their studies i talked about mistakes that i made in my own time i talked about things i did not do in my own time i my what i regret not doing in my own time i also talked about what i did that worked so well for me i mean what better way to get this distinction than for, to learn from someone who has been there so please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if this is the kind of content you like i post everything medical schools on saturdays but for wednesdays i post anything that is not medical school skincare vlogs hair and um, emotional struggles hair vlogs just everything food everything else in medical school but saturday is for you especially so remember to share this video to those who you think this video would help please do so that is the aim my aim is to raise hundreds of thousands of medical students with distinctions that is my aim and i will need your help to help me achieve that aim so let's get on with the video so for biochemistry omar this was strong because biochemistry likes structures <laughs> if you ask about the structure of dna or a structure of one organic compound or the other you need to draw the structures i'm just laughing because i can't believe that somebody like me can never score up to a 70 percent or up to an 80 percent in a biochemistry exam me <laughs> sorry i have i really need to give you a short backstory of my my struggles in chemistry before i get on with the video because i need you to know where i'm coming from so that these tips i'm going to give to you you would understand that it's not that i'm a, i'm not a, a graduate of biochemistry i didn't have a good chemistry ba um, background but yet i'm able to hit these biochemistry scores so you should understand that you don't need to be a, a guru or a genius to be able to get these distinctions in biochemistry you don't need it my in my secondary school my secondary school chemistry teacher introduced organic chemistry on the week of my exam can you imagine on the week of Waieko, that is when organic chemistry was introduced and then i wasn't that kind of student that used to read ahead i i read my parents wanted to enroll me in in extramoral classes i refused to enroll in extramoral classes so i struggled so much if you ask me anything in organic chemistry i i i can answer those ones very well but organic chemistry has been a thorn in my flesh. In my 100 level, I know how I struggled so hard. And I still had above 60% in all my, my 100 level um, chemistry courses. Even in my WIEC. So it, it, you, it, it does not matter if your background is terrible. You can still make it. I can't believe that me that is sitting down right here can have up to a 60, a 70, 80% in biochemistry. Take, take this tip seriously. They are coming from a place of someone who has failed and has struggled before. So biochemistry needs structures. You need to learn structures. You need to learn how to draw structures. You need to learn how to draw flow charts. Biochemistry doesn't need stories. Biochemistry doesn't need paragraphs. Biochemistry doesn't need your diagrams. What they need is just straight to the point. If you ask for this on the synthesis of a particular hormone, just give them the flow chart, give them the structures of the hormone. Straight to the point if you ask about coenzyme, if you can draw the structure of the coenzyme and list its components and write its components, straight to the point, add a note on its function, straight to the point, add, start each sentence in a new line. But chemistry doesn't need your, 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 your stories. If you ask on the structure of DNA or differentiate between RNA and DNA, don't write stories. 
just write number one or, or even if you can if they ask you to write in tab tabular form write it in tabular form number one dna is double stranded rna is single stranded she cannot no need for extra stories if you ask if, if they didn't ask you to write in tabular form you can just write all oh, the differences between dna and rna include number one dna has double strand rna has single strand dna has this rna has this just straight 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 no stories if they ask you, oh, why is it that the primary productivity in polar regions are lower than those in tropic regions? Go straight to the point. It's because of the presence of sunlight. This is they just add a note on primary productivity decreases as you move from tropic region to polar region. You just short, 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 short point punch lines like that. Don't need to write stories. And then if you're if you're asked to write differences between elimination and substitution reaction. You cannot answer those kind of questions without adding at least a chemical reaction. Just write a chemical reaction, even though it's A plus B is equals to C plus D, or A, B plus um, C, D is equals to A, C plus B, D. Just anything that you can use to represent a chemical reaction. You just write it down. Or if you ask a question like the salvage of, of purine nucleotides, you make sure you, in fact, like uh, um, enzymes, <laughs> very important you, you ask something that has enzymes that has coenzymes that has cofactors if you say oh the, the uh, equation or the compound was hydrated include a chemical reaction and show an arrow where ATP was changed into ADP plus PI or if you added water show it just put an arrow to show I, I will see if I can insert a picture so that you understand what i'm saying put an arrow to show that you added water or if nad plus was reduced to nadh in include it there put that arrow to show that nad plus was reduced to nadh these things are very important chemical um, reactions chemical formulas they are very important if you're writing anything about chemistry flow charts very important if you're writing anything about chemistry they don't need your stories they are not interested in your stories if you're asked to write on, on something like sickle cell anemia, you know it's the chemistry of sickle cell anemia they are asking for. They are not asking you for uh, 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 they are not asking you for the physiology of you know if you if physiology asks you for sickle cell anemia, the stories you're going to tell them will be different from what biochemistry is looking for. So don't go and write physiology inside biochemistry. If you're asked on the biochemistry of sickle cell anemia or biochemistry of thalassemia like sickle cell anemia you must include the the exact amino acid that was replaced in that in amino acid sequence you must include it right on the biochemistry don't write physiology inside biochemistry biochemistry is different please take note of that i really need to tell you guys something this video was sponsored by the chidera company she's a medical student and i'm so proud of her and how far she has gone in her business and she what she does is that she's a content writer she's a ghost writer she helps people write their blogs their social media content articles ebooks at an agreed rate per word she also designs e-flyers youtube thumbnails like the thumbnail that i use on this video she designed it oh my god chidera if you're watching this thank you so much much and she also designs business cards so please check her out i'll drop her link in my description box check her out just let her know that you're from me and she's certainly certainly definitely going to give you a discount she sponsored this video so please just check her out for me thank you let's get on with the video Mwah. okay i just hope i really really hope i've not forgotten anything but these are the basic things that you need to know if you're writing any biochemistry exam I repeat myself no stories no paragraphs make sure you include flow charts they are not really interested in diagram if they are, you're asked on the biochemistry of something is the chemistry that they are interested in don't write physiology inside biochemistry don't write anatomy inside biochemistry you will lose it also biochemistry just need everything straight to the point if they ask you to give differences if they ask in, in tabular form put it in tabular form they ask you to list list if they ask you why is this, is this happening just give them start each sentence in a new line they don't want your paragraph they are not even patient enough for your paragraph so that is what i have to say about biochemistry i'm very sure i forgot about one thing or the other so my senior colleagues i hail you my hail you sas just drop um, some tips also for for them in the comments box if there's anything that you if you are encountering any problem i'm here for you this the, the main aim for this my channel is to raise hundreds of thousands of medical students with, with distinctions 60 percent 70 percent that is what this channel is for so if you're interested in distinction check out my other videos i 
I will put the link up here for that playlist. My study tip videos, check out that playlist. Everything from how to answer anatomy question, how to answer um, physiology, and now how to answer biochemistry questions. And next week, I'm going to start the series of practical exams. How to answer anatomy practical exam, how to scale through physiology practical exam, how to scale through biochemistry practical exam. You would not want to miss that series. So see you next week with another series for you medical students. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your senior colleagues, your junior colleagues. Share it with your classmates. It will help them a whole lot. So see you next week Saturday for tips on how to answer and how to study for practical exams, anatomy, biochemistry, physiology. Bye! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.